All right, what's up, YouTube fam? We're gonna go uh, set the pinfish traps. Uh, we catch these pinfish, we use them for live bait. They're a great live bait for a lot of species. Um, the nice thing about them, you trap them. You don't have to throw a net on them. So we put these traps out, we fill them with chum, which they love to eat, and the pinfish swim in there and they can't get out. So they're a great kind of auxiliary bait to have when you can't find other live bait to throw your net on. You can keep your traps out there loaded all the time and uh, just run and pick them up. Um, the baits live really well, so you can keep them for periods of time in your pens at the dock. And pretty much anything that eats a fish will eat them. Sometimes a pilchard or a mullet or something is going to be the, you know, the preference of a snook or a tarpon or something like that. But a pinfish, like I said, it's a great auxiliary bait and a lot of stuff love them. And when you can't find those other baits, you can usually always find some pinfish. All right, we're going to walk you through it. Come take a ride. All right, guys, we're getting ready here to bait up our trap. Just a simple block of chum. Goes right in this hole right here. Lock it up. And throw her in. And there she go. goes. Yeah. Kind of what we like to look for is little, uh, you know, potholes out here. Little white sand hole. You can see it from the surface when the water's clean and the uh, sun's up. Uh, just the transition in the bottom, you know, is always usually a good place to try. After you put traps out there, you know, you'll just got to test it out, see if the area is productive. And just like all fish, they're not always there. Sometimes we catch them here real good, you know, every time you put your traps out. Sometimes they disappear and you got to go find new ground. So just like all fish, and uh, it's not always good. You just got to work at it and you learn things as you go along. But that's a good tip for you there. All right, let's go pull some and see what we got in there. All right. Bean is going to pull our trap here, see what our prize bounty is. Hopefully it's loaded. Alright, looks like one on cap. This side? Yep. So it's in here. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's the noise I like. That's the sound we're looking for. We're going to use this well. Now, one thing that's really important is to just quickly get them into the well. Uh, kind of the transportation of them. They all, you know, they're called pinfish. Feels like a, you know, a ball of pins. And they all stick each other. So we try to avoid that as much as possible. Let's let the stone crab go. Let him get bigger. All right, pretty successful. Now, what can I do is I kind of look for a sand hole, a little, a little sand pothole. Uh, it's surrounded by grass, like four to six feet of water, off the edge of a flat. And that's usually a good area for pinfish. It's kind of like where, where they like to hang around. All right, guys, we're back at the marina. The well is full. We gotta go deposit these babies in one of our traps that we keep here in the water at the marina. 
It's a great way to keep live bait in storage and have easy access to them. We get a lot of good water flow through the basin here, so a lot of these baits will, uh, will live pretty good. And pinfish, like I said, they're one of the hardiest baits. They don't get beat up too bad. When you net them out, you know, you don't want to grab too many at once because they'll poke each other. So we just get, you know, little dips, try to get three or four at a time and just take your time with it. With, like with everything uh, with bait, you know, you got to take your time if you want your bait to live good and be healthy and work for you. So it just takes time is all. So here we go. All right, this is the Beans houseboat. Mikasa. If, if you're back here, watch out. Yeah, that's right. Check out, check out my view. This is my front porch view right here. You want to use a power pole or kind of just hang on with this? I just hang on. All right, so yeah, again, real important. You just want to take your time, you know, don't try to net more than five or six at a time there. Drop them in. Mm -hmm. 